Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add additional administrators to your PrestaShop admin panel. Basically the nice thing about this is that you can actually set permissions for each administrator. For example, you can give them permissions to only process orders. Uh, in other words, you can create a, an account for a shipper and then you can give them a login and password and they can basically take care of the orders and only see the orders when accessing the admin panel. So to do this, simply go to Administrators here, and then go to Profiles, and simply add a profile. For example, if we were to add a shipper, we would add the shipper right here, like so. And then we would save. And then we would go back to the Administration uh, column here. And then we would add permissions. And now we would actually click on the shipper here and in the order section we would basically decide which permissions we want to give them for example we want to give them permissions over orders we want them to be able to view add edit delete all etc if you only want them to be able to view the orders you simply uncheck these checkboxes here and only check off orders if you want them to be able to see invoices you t check off invoices as well. Same for merchandise returns, delivery slips, credit slips, statuses, order messages, etc. So now once you are happy with the settings, you simply go to administration, employees, and now you simply add a new employee. And here you simply enter in their name. If you'd like to show a picture, you can you enter in their email address password default page note that when you give an employee specific permissions you should actually choose the area of the admin panel as the default page that you gave permissions to because if you don't they will actually get an error when they log in and they won't actually be able to access the admin panel and now you can choose the admin menu orientation, top or left, I'll just leave it on left. And for status, I'll have them as enabled. If you ever decide at a later time to disable them, you don't actually have to delete the account. You can just set the status on no. And for permissions, I will choose shipper. And I will click on save. And now I will simply log out and sign in as the shipper. Like so. And as you can see, now I can view orders and only order information. Now, if I were to sign out and sign back in as the main administrator, because only the main administrator can change permissions, what I can do is I can change my administrator's permissions by simply going to edit here. So for example, I can disable their status if I'd like, but if I want to change their permissions, I can simply change it here. For example, if I want to give them the same permissions that I have, I simply choose uh, Super Admin and I click on Save. And now when I uh, log in as John Smith, and now I can view all areas within the admin panel and note that since I have orders as my default page even as the super admin I still uh, have the order page displayed the minute I log in to the admin panel so basically that's that so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com